Hello and good afternoon to everybody present here. I hope you all are doing great. My name is Arun Vajpayee and I'll be your host for this session. I welcome you all to day two of the pre-hackathon speaker sessions at HackCVS 3.0. Taking forward the foundation laid by our seniors, we have taken the responsibility this year to organize the third edition of HackCVS, India's largest student-run hackathon. Making full use of this digital time zone, this year at HackCVS 3.0, We'll be hosting lots of live workshops and speaker sessions throughout this week. To know the detailed schedule, you can check out our website hackcbs.tech. We hope to make it a memorable and insightful experience for you all. So with this, let us begin with a much awaited session. Now talking about the session, today our speaker is Rajat Jain, a software engineer at Microsoft, currently working on a really cool product called Microsoft Teams. He is an avid UI developer and has worked with React, GraphQL, and TypeScript for over two years. Hackathons have been an integral part of his dev life. He has learned a lot being part of many hackathons till now. And in his talk, he will be summing up his experiences and learnings from different hackathons. And it will help you to make the most out of your participation in ours. He will be sharing some cool project ideas that the students at Code Asylums have worked on. The key idea behind this talk is to make you let go of your inhibitions and encourage you to take part in more and more such hackathons. With that said, let us welcome Rajat Jain. The virtual stage is all yours. Hey, Arun. Hi. hi. That's, that, that was a really nice introduction. Um, as Arun told you, uh, am I audible? Right? Yes, sir. OK, awesome. As Arun told you, uh, hi, my name is Rajat. And um, yes, I am a software developer. Uh, or you can say engineer at Microsoft, working on a really cool product called Microsoft Teams. And um, I'm on I'm in the search team at Microsoft Teams. And uh, I've been a mentor at Coda Silence for over three years now. I've mentored uh, um, over 500 students as well as professionals all across uh, the country. And um, this is what I do for a living. Uh, actually, I do not do that for a living. <laughs> I first, I'm, I'm, you know, I, um, code for a living. Um, I have mentored in over uh, 20, 25 uh, plus hackathons, um, played part as a jury, as a participant, as um, a guest speaker, and I've seen a lot in this domain. And that is why I hold the credibility to come here and to tell you guys and to share my experiences in hackathons. Um, hackathons have been an integral part in my dev life. Um, I've learned a lot uh, in those, you know, in those uh, really supercharged adrenaline, uh, you know, powered th mostly 36 hours or 48 hours. Even I, I've, I've been a part of a hackathon, which was for 48 hours and we did not sleep straight away for 48 hours. And that was the Rajasthan uh, uh, government uh, hackathon. And um, it was one of the biggest hackathons in the country. Uh, and we book uh, and we kind of broke the Limca book of the records, uh, a record in the Limca book of records. Um, and there were around 22,000 developers under one roof. So that was it. So I, hackathons for me has always been the best place where I can exercise all my, uh, all the different tech that I want to use, all the different ideas that I have in my mind. And, you know, uh, mostly, uh, you know, I am asked, um, by freshers, by, by people who are starting to go for hackathons. They're like, Hey Rajat, but how can I think of ideas? How do I think of ideas? How, I do not have ideas coming in my head. If I had, I would, you know, start a startup or something like that. Uh, that that's not that easy, but ideas can be very simple. So we'll be discussing. So now I'm going, coming to a part wherein I'll be telling you what we'll be discussing today. We'll be discussing, uh, how important are hackathons? how enriching is the experience behind hackathons secondly we'll be discussing what are the do's and don'ts of a hackathon third thing we'll be discussing why is everyone even the government companies be it indian be it any multinational company anyone everyone across the globe are investing so much in hackathons fourth um why uh, hackathons how hackathons can shape your future ahead also um, by shaping your future ahead. I mean, 
hackathons if if done the right way can channelize and can make you uh, it can channelize the right sense of thoughts and can make you very disciplined in the way you work in the way you behave with your colleagues in the way you you know put effort as teamwork everything can be shaped using hackathons i i personally can vouch for it because i've learned a lot just by being part of hackathons you know i've learned a lot in terms of how professionalism work in um, you know doing the hackathons the right way um having done uh, all these things i have gathered some points and that is what i'm going to share today um so let me share my screen for that can you guys see my screen i hope you can <laughs> okay because i can't hear you um so uh, the topic of today is hack your way into the future and when i say this i literally mean that hackathons can be a platform can be can be an avenue wherein you can really do uh, you know you can code you can build stuff and hack your way into the future there are so many different big big uh, startups as well as companies that have come out just because just as a hackathon idea or products that have come out just as a hackathon idea and they are ruling now danzo was a hackathon idea kaizala in microsoft was a hackathon completely uh, was a hackathon idea the story behind kaizala is that the there were some a group of uh, some uh, guys from um, developers from maharashtra and they uh, were in microsoft hyderabad and in 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 an internal hackathon they created something a product which they named as kaizala kaizala in Mar- marathi means how, how do you do and they created it and the up the senior management liked the idea so much that kaizala is now a product a, a completely fully fledged product everything under one uh, uh, you know the right from the very beginning to the point where it is today it's all being developed in india there are very few products like that uh, especially in a company like microsoft and kaizala is one of them and there are so many others that you know so many big and very useful and very successful startups that have come just from the hackathons so when i say hack your way into the future hackathons can really be a platform wherein you can hack your way into the future uh as per my uh credibility i am a software engineer uh recently got promoted at microsoft uh this is where i share my thoughts um on twitter rajat underscore codes and uh, um this is my blog link rajat explains dot hash not dot def now what are hackathons i should not say this uh i do not believe in bookish knowledge but you know if you go by you know what wikipedia or what google tells you hackathons is a is an event hackathon is an event where programmers also known as hackers the one thing that is very um um you know it's a misnomer that you know when whenever we think of hacker or hacking or something like that the hollywood and bollywood movies the movies that we have seen they they have made us believe and they have they have made us uh, feel in a way or imagine in a way that hacker means a guy in a hoodie in a dark room with a you know with a with a very complex setup of computers and he's doing some some stuff and numbers are just flowing from top to bottom top to bottom <laughs> but uh, or or commands are just flowing but that's not it right hacker in general hack means a solution hack means a solution and if you are a hacker you have a solution to a problem that's what you are so anyone can call anyone can be called a hacker hacker means people who hack hack means uh if you have a solution to a problem you have hacked it uh you don't want to go to your uh, class okay some guy some uh you know brilliantly uh, intelligent uh, engineering student i hope engineering student discovered the um the process of you know uh, setting up proxies so yeah that was a hack a hack for not going to classes that was a hack so uh, an event where programmers also known as hackers come together to work on collaborative computer programming device strategies and solutions yeah. to solve a particular specific problem that is what hackathons are but what we make of hackathons is we have something in our head okay i want to work uh, i want to work in vr let's say virtual reality and uh, i have a product in my head i don't know if it's 
you know if it it has got a consumer market or not if it if people need it or not or if there is a proper sell problem in the society or not but i have a product ready and now i want to fit it to a problem it should be the other way around always think of this thing always have first of all think of a problem existing in the society existing in offices existing in any particular um, setup and then think of a solution using think of a solution using the technologies that you have now in that if you want to you know use really creative and really new technologies that you haven't worked with before and you want to just explore it please do that but always think of a problem first and then a solution so yeah we'll be we'll be talking about that also now the next point is why hackathons why is it like all the companies you know it, be it a big company be it a small company why is it like the government why is it the colleges everyone is focusing on hackathons or focusing on organizing hackathons <laughs> before the covid era i know there were hackathons there were uh, uh, offline hackathons people used to you know fly from one class or go or uh, via train go from one place to another place and then uh, hack some time uh, ha- uh, hack uh, some product over there and then come back to their particular their respective places i agree that was fun but even in the covid times hackathons does not cease hackathons do not cease to exist they are happening even i think they are happening in larger numbers and um, they are happening online so why is it what is the petrol or what is that fuel that you know hackathon organizers have that you know makes them going even in this you know uh, particular scenario the reason why hackathons are so much famous and so much popular is because they so there are certain points right the first point is that they bring out the best in a particular candidate so let's say i'm a company uh, i want to hire people <laughs> i want to hire freshers or when i want to hire uh, you know just uh, one or two years of experience uh, people but i want to hire really good people so i have two options first i conduct interviews if i conduct interviews uh, let's say there are three rounds of interviews half an hour or let's say 45 minutes rounds in those 45 minutes 45 minutes 45 minutes i'll be asking questions right those questions will be somewhat bookish maybe uh, somewhat experimental somewhat uh, logical stuff like that maybe the guy answered or everything maybe the developer answered everything but can i be really sure if he can be uh, an addition to my team can i be really sure that he knows how to build a product or how to be a good team player or how to you know uh, uh, handle stressful situations i don't know right i can ask him questions he can or he or she can fake it very easily that yeah yeah sir i am a team player yeah yeah I, i did this i did that in my old team and something like that now what if i invest in a hackathon and i let people just take part in hackathons or uh, i don't have to invest that much right i just have to give goodies and everything to uh, to the final uh, uh, you know uh, the winners as well as some t-shirts t-shirts to all the participants that companies have the budget for they do not care for all that but the outcome is very important what is the outcome firstly yeah there is marketing but secondly the outcome is that the guys or the products that are really good and that actually win or maybe you know uh, are highlighted in a hackathon the developers who build it are really good because they have shown you that this is this is the thing that we can build in a th- in a 36 hours time period so they have proven their uh, you know they have proven their ground and now they are hireable so that is why companies invest in hackathon why do government invest in hackathon there is uh, so many there are so many government powered hackathons these days in our in our country i remember the time when i was in my first year even in second year i um, feared i i was very much scared of the word hackathon the the word itself is very intimidating but when i actually you know uh, got an opportunity to take part uh, in my first hackathon nothing could be as much liberating as you know uh, being a part of a hackathon and being actually able to finish the product that you thought in your head 
I did not win, but uh, I, I always tell this to my juniors and my you know uh, students that in hackathons you do not you, there is no there is no concept of failure. There is no word like failure. Either you succeed or you learn. That's it. So um, I'll be telling you stories also uh, my personal uh, from my personal POV that how hackathons uh, how was how were my hackathons so this is why people invest in hackathons hackathons bring out the re, bring, bring out the best in uh, people in developers they tell you if i am an ha- i am a hackathon organizer they 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 can um, you know I, I can easily figure out which uh, of the which of the people are really uh, good developers and i can just you know forward referrals uh, you uh, this is one point second point is why you should take part in a hackathon um i am not sure about online hackathons because i am not i have not been a part of any online hackathon but but i i think it equally uh, provides uh, that kind of an environment but if you are going for an offline hackathon the energy that is there uh, in that particular venue is next level it's 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 a pro level uh, energy there are a group of so i have been to a hackathon wherein there were there was a group of 100 teams sitting in a hall you know people are people are shouting people are thinking of ideas people are you know there's a constant murmuring going on people are not sleeping so i i i got uh, very sleepy and i was like i was looking into i was, I was looking just looking the team beside me and they were all charged up they had coffees and they were, they were charged up and they were coding and i was like should i sleep and the the voice inside my head was like no you should not that is and, and that exactly is the uh, situation you know in a boot camp at code of Salems. but you know uh, keeping it separate um, hackathons give you a, a platform wherein you can um, give shapes to your ideas i have an idea in my head that popped up uh, in covid time i'll be sharing that idea but uh, so uh, now i wanted to exercise it so there was an internal hackathon that was happening inside microsoft i applied that uh, i applied uh, you know um, a, a particular tech to my idea and uh, i got it running and i had an app and it was appreciated by my manager and, and other teams they're like yeah this is something that you know the society needs i need to work on it you know to create a good product out of it but in hackathons, what you should do is you should uh, aim for a minimum minimal viable product. Like this is something that is working and that is serving the purpose. Yeah. To add the extra features, yeah, I'll be working on it later on. But this is what I pro- proposed and this is what I have got. Uh, you make friends during hackathons. <laughs> so I've got uh, I've I've some made some really cool friends from different colleges that. If if it was not if it were uh, not uh, because of hackathons, I would have never met them, you know, in in real life. But uh, those really cool uh, engineers, developers, friends, I met during hackathons, and uh, this was a, this was a result of me interacting with them. So hackathons also, you know, lead to you interacting with more people. It makes you a people person. And that helps you in, uh, you know, uh, in your later life when you are, uh, you know, in a corporate setup. Now, when I say corporate setup, does not mean that you have to do a job. Even if you are in a startup and you you are the founder of a startup, you will be in a corporate setup. If you are, let's say, you leave everything and you go and try acting and go to Bollywood. Even in that industry, you have to be professional, right? You have to be a good team player. So these learnings that hackathons give you, that that sheer uh, rush that uh, you get, or or you know, when the when when you when you finish the last, uh, when you finish the last uh, bit, the last line of code, and everything is, you know, everything is running in front of you, your baby, your product, the, the or your team's product, the ideas that you thought of, the ideas that you brainstormed on, everything live in action. I don't know what is better than that. <laughs> that is the feeling. So you you must be you guys must be noticing. Uh, I'm I'm on something. <laughs> Maybe I've had in you know a lot of coffee or um, I've taken something because I'm this excited. But really, when when I am talking about hackathons, I am normally this excited because I I am a big uh, 
evangelist of hackathons so yeah i'll be telling more about it in later uh, uh, slides the best part of a hackathon is pizza and beer uh, <laughs> so this was a slide that uh, uh, really stood out uh, for some people some of my friends i'll not be naming them they'll be killing me but um, yeah if you are um, a part of a hackathon in uh, bangalore uh, some of the hackathons you can get pizza and beer so looking forward to it but uh, so i've i've been a part of uh, such a hackathon in uh, you know the recent past but um, yeah this is not it right so what are the best part of hackathon pizza beer uh, apart from the jokes uh, goodies you get a lot of goodies if you can see i i cannot show you the back of my um, laptop but uh, you can you won't be able to see it i mean you can just see the uh, apple logo but apart from that you won't be able to see the back of my laptop it's covered with stickers and thick layer of stickers <laughs> so uh, that's how crazy uh, i am about stickers and goodies even at this stage when i have got lots of them uh, because you know <laughs> when i didn't have any and i was in my second year and i used to see my seniors having you know uh, all these stickers uh, behind their laptops on the back of their laptops and i was like one day now that day came but i'm still like a kid i'm still uh, you know craving for more and more uh, t-shirts and uh, goodies and stickers and caps and yeah you can't you can't get enough of it uh, but apart from all this hackathons all these material things hackathons also give you a lot of other things you know it it gives you a mindset and that's what i'm going to talk about in my next segment the first thing the hackathons give you or hackathons uh as a platform uh, develops in you is a sense of innovation now uh okay so uh, let me talk about a story let let me give you a proper uh, a real story that happened with me so i wanted to um, to do something uh, in speech recognition right in uh, most more specifically in uh, um, voice to uh, text speech to text tran- uh, translation and i wanted to do something Mm, again this was the wrong way as i told you in the in the very beginning it should be the other way around it should be like you have a problem and then you are finding a solution but i was starting just starting that was my first hackathon and i was like i'll do something because this is really cool uh alexa and uh, uh, google home they were you know coming just coming very early days and uh, i was like yeah this is really cool you just speak something and someone a google assistant was assistant was there not this cool but yeah it was there and uh, you just speak something and something else comes out or it reads it your voice converts to it to speech i looked uh, i i uh, saw the code of it uh, online and i was like ah, five or six lines of python what is good in it i was like no 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 i have i need to do something with it so this is the base idea that uh, my entire solution or my entire hack will revolve around but i need to do something i need to think of something around it so we started thinking so we were a group of four people we started thinking uh what can we do with it uh the first idea that came to my head was um let's do uh, one thing let's um have a um have a speech to uh, text converter uh, tool embedded inside a um a video conferencing tool so let's say we i am having a meeting and um, let's say there are five people who are in a meeting and uh, a b c d if a, a says something says something the tool will recognize that it's a talking and it will say a colon and speak about uh, what a is saying if b interrupts and b starts talking it will immediately put a dot 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 in a a's uh, sentence and then b will start talking with a colon and then uh, that's it really cool idea right but uh, after doing some so uh, we started building it you know we were the first uh, it was our first hackathon no one was guiding us we just thought of an idea we started googling it we started uh, looking for uh, uh, you know solutions so uh, we started and someone one one of my friend he started coding also he was very uh, enthusiast um then uh, one of us one of our seniors who later on came to guide us he was like have you guys researched about it have you guys guys looked about 
uh, looked uh, upon the internet and you know researched that whether some some other tool or some other company or some other software is doing the same thing that you're thinking like no and like uh, and he was like please uh, do that first and then uh, look for idea so innovation innovation is something that if you're not doing see if you are if if i went with that idea if i uh, you know uh, could go with that idea only no one will sue me or no one will you know just reject my idea or no one will just get throw me out of the hackathon no but what is the point of creating something that is already created you can do that but in a different way amazon was there amazon e-commerce flipkart came into the picture why did flipkart come into the picture firstly there was no indian e-commerce platform that was there so, okay that could be it but second thing they did everything better in in terms of tech they did everything better than amazon if you just visit flipkart website and if you visit amazon uh, dot in or dot com you just compare both of them you will feel elated you will feel happy while being on flipkart's website it's so smooth it's so good not just website the internals of it also but yeah what good with amazon the logistics i do not trust flipkart but i trust amazon because amazon with amazon i can you know uh, i i can uh, trust that yeah my whatever i've ordered will come in two or three days and it will not it will be something that i've ordered nothing else but flip with flipkart i've seen I've, i am myself a victim so yeah logistics part they have not sorted it out quite well till now but other than that it was different from amazon in that sense so i was like okay uh um i needed to build it but already there was some software that was already doing it in the exact way that we thought now we had to pivot we had to think of something else so what could we do what could we do what could we do so um now i was already we were already working or looking for something on the um uh, meetings doing for the meetings so i thought of another idea why don't we uh, you know uh, have a minutes generator so for every meetings there is a minute let's say it's a half an hour meeting so it's like a one page minute or a or a um, you know quarter a page minute um of whatever was talked in the meeting and there is a guy there is a proper guy assigned for that particular job like hey you will be the minuter of the meeting and you will be noting down whatever is happening why this this can be done by our tool so we thought of uh, creating a really smart uh, Uh, generating really smart minutes for our meeting whatever meeting is happening it will not be uh, obviously uh, you have to uh, process the entire speech that is coming uh, after the meeting ended and then you have to uh, generate that meeting uh, minutes so we start thought of doing it no one was doing it back then now there are tools that are doing it after the covid started but in the back then there was no one doing it and uh, we started doing it and at a so after a one uh, day research and uh, a little bit of coding we uh, succumb to it we are like no we can't do it uh, we don't know that much and it in, it include a lot of ml a lot of um, a, a good sense of ml machine learning and we, no none of us were equipped with that and we like no we can't do it now that's that comes to my second point you need to be very sure of what you can do and what you can't being optimistic and being really uh, you know uh, thinking high is really good it's it's really good being positive is really good but at the same time you need to uh, figure this thing that you have only 36 hours in your hand and you have to make something in those 36 hours you can't you know commit to this much and then you know finish your thing in this much you cannot right so we ultimately pivoted to something else and that is really cool we created a um <laughs> we created a drama bot what is a drama bot so let's say i am an actor and i have to rehearse my lines so uh, i uh, and i i always want someone some of my any of my friend to be there to you know read the lines with me but uh, what we did was we created a tool wherein you pass uh, you provide the script and uh, tell him that yeah this this uh, b letter is you and a is me and uh, i'll be speaking my lines and there we use something that uh, you know in a script you have 
a sentence and then in bracket it said angrily you have to speak that angrily so our uh, assistant was speaking that in that tone and it looked like a real ma- person uh, talking to you so it was like a a drama uh, if if you are an actor or if you want to prepare something or if you want to prepare for a debate or something like that that can be your uh, tool uh we thought of it as a really good idea and we actually could uh, do it finish it in time but yeah it was not that much appreciated it was appreciated uh, by the students but not by the judges that's totally fine but that was something that was not there in the market firstly innovative secondly whatever we thought of building we could actually finish it in those but in that stipulated time and uh, yeah we were happy because that was our first hackathon and we finished something we give shape a physical form to what we thought so that was the kick that never went away second is collaborative skills now when you are in a hackathon and you are uh, you lack collaborative skills you cannot be a team leader you cannot be a team you can be a team player later on but uh, you cannot be a team leader a team leader should have a collab a good sense of collaborative skills um a team leader should have a good sense of collaborative skills um you start with uh, let's say it's 3:30 you are starting at 3:30 and uh, you have to finish uh, finish something by 9:30 tonight you have 6 hours and uh, you are a group of four people you have to divide tasks now i am a team leader i need to divide tasks amongst all four of us i have to give the right amount in the right set of tasks to people this is one thing second thing if someone is feeling low and not you know so <laughs> this happened with a code with a with a hackathon that we um, organized at code asylums and uh, there was a team uh, of four people and uh, after one day like after 24 hours a guy uh, uh, one person from that team came that he was the team leader and he came and he was like um, rajat we we won't be able to do it or or i think he said i think also oh, okay he said that i am doing everything all by myself he was complaining that i am doing everything all by myself and those three people they are, they have just uh, gone gone to some bar or some pub or some some club and they are just dancing over there and they are just having fun and i'm doing all this myself i have to do everything myself i i told him that yeah i mean it's their mistake it's their mistake totally i'll talk talk with them but it's your mistake too because you are the team leader and you as a team leader should be able to give a sense of inspiration or a sense of motivation to them even if you are of the same age you can motivate them you can tell them hey, yeah yeah we can do it we can we can you know uh, we can think of something uh, pivot like we had three ideas in front of us when i was doing that speech to text thing i i you know i was a team leader i pivoted right first idea failed okay we have to we have to think of something something else you cannot succumb you cannot quit you cannot stop in the last hackathon that i judged it was um, the nasa space app challenge the two winners the first and the second place holders were the ones who almost ga- almost i'm saying almost who almost gave up on the last day of the hackathon because they were not able to finish it in time and they thought that they they'll just you know they'll have to uh just uh leave this feature or leave that feature but ultimately none of them slept none of them slept they they kept on working they kept on working and ultimately they could finish just 30 minutes or 25 minutes before the presentation and the presentation was you know getting ready parallelly so yeah it got ready um and when when we announced the winners and uh, the the sheer happiness that they had in you know on their faces it was inexplicable that is how you you know show team spirit that is how you you know be at it when you say be at it you you have to be at it now that particular thing that you can exercise in a hackathon generates a sense of uh, uh, the same nature in your personal life also you have to be like that uh, i um <laughs> recently uh, i got promoted i told you right so in that uh, so this this was the last 6 months that was that was very crucial for me the last 6 months i was at it 
i was you know sleeping less that's really bad i know but it was not because i needed to get promoted no nothing like that i was so enjoying my work that i was like man i can i can uh, leave or i can you know uh, just disregard sleep at this age i can do anything i don't have to worry about any anyone i i do not have kids i do not have a wife i i i have a family but they can take care of themselves more or less but uh, i can do anything so i was just enjoying doing whatever i was doing and you know completely uh, away from inhibition any sort of inhibition so i i did not quit i was doing it i was all over the place and yes i got it that is how and and and, and i should not say this again but hackathons have played a very important part part in my life uh, developing all these features for oh, problem solving every com- uh, computer science student or in general any student uh, should be uh, or will be aware of uh, the importance of problem solving in one's life if you are a competitive programmer problem solving is all that you do right uh, from morning to evening if you are just you know uh, doing competitive programming if you are uh, taking part in you know contests on code chef hacker rank and uh, you know uh, platforms like that or if you are you know just just solving problems uh, algorithms uh, data structures learning data structures you are solving problems so um, that's an integral part of your life now having said all that now when you move to development and you are taking part in hackathons the learnings that you have um helps you helps you a lot in uh, uh, you know devising right steps and right solution for your uh, problem the example that i'm giving you about the speech to text trans- translator that was um, something that you know as a product came into my head and then i felt fit it into a problem that was existing okay so in meetings there is no such solution so yeah i'll fix fit that but just think of uh, think of a company like think of a company like dunzo okay uh, so i've gave this example a couple of times before also uh, what dunzo did was uh, very simple right it is very simple there was a problem existing in the society what was the problem and 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 we all used to face this problem let's say i i am going i i left for my office and i forgot forgot my keys uh and uh, my flatmate is still at home now i don't know how to get my keys from my flatmate was there a solution that my flatmate could send the key send the keys to me no i don't think so i i i, I know for a fact that there was no solution um there's no delivery service that could be this fast right now came danzo what danzo did was just on demand help this is so simple i my father runs a, a shop here and we have uh, workers we have staff workers at our shop and whatever needs to be you know gone from what whatever needs to be sent from the house my father sends those uh, any one of those staff workers to my home my mother gives that particular thing to that um, worker and then he goes back to the shop it's as simple right that was the idea that danzo implemented on a national level on a on a great scale uh, logistically it was very simple but they were at it they did a pro- they they found they found a problem in on in the society and they you know came up with a solution a very easy solution but they came up with it right none of the others or maybe some of the others tried also but you know it it's also a game of uh, when you are doing it when is the society really accepting of it is this the right time to launch it and stuff like that but it it is a great example of problem solving hiring opportunities i have told you this before that um, companies uh, prefer hackathons because hackathons are a you know pose a great way of uh, hiring people mm, i've said enough about it so let's jump ahead we are falling short of time uh, product understanding uh, <laughs> a very interesting story again a junior came to me and he was like uh, hello uh, sir uh, i'm trying to create this this and this uh, type of uh, an app and i'm stuck at the login page so i'm making i'm making a call to uh, my backend but the data returning is not right can you look at the code 
and the first thing that i said the first thing that came up came to my mind is like why the hell are you making a login i mean creating a login page who told you even if you want to create why are you creating a back end for it is anyone see trying to i mean will anyone see it in uh, the hackathon no right why are you <laughs> trying to um, a uh, create a login register page why are you trying to create an otp uh, otp sending uh, um uh, you know a system otp system why why are you doing it no one is going to see that even if you know you spend your half day in setting up all these it's of it's of no worth in a hackathon no one will try to you know log in and register with a name and then log in with the same name and just to see if your login system is working no no one will do that focus on the features so that is how product understanding uh, helps that is where product understanding helps what the does the customer want is what should be done <laughs> so uh, when i joined microsoft i had uh, uh, the the product that i'm working on um i had got really cool ideas in my head th- those were cool ideas but i had got really cool ideas uh, for the product and i used to discuss it with my team lead and my manager also and uh, <laughs> the manager uh, my manager used to just smile and like will people use it i'm like yeah i will use it no i mean you will use it but will the people who are working in companies the corporates will they use it and like how who will use it one out of 10 people or let's say one out of 100 people this is cool this is really cool but will people use it that is where everything you know boils down to that is the point will people use it will the user have any use case that will you know help him to do that do it whatsapp may uh, when the reply feature came earlier it was just long press there will be a reply back button click on it and reply back then after some time they are like they they must be getting feedback that uh, it takes in two steps so what they did was the slide uh, and reply back that was the product understanding point of view uh, being a part of hackathons also helps you in understanding what the customer wants how to proceed with it hackathons must to have points now these are something that i have learned these are certain points that have um, that will help you to uh, do the hackathon in the right way that will make that will help you make the most out of hackathons firstly form an idea and do some preliminary research i told you i can't tell you more enough but form an idea first uh, by when i say form an idea think of a obviously think of a problem first uh, just notice a problem that is existing in the society and think of a uh, form an idea around it idea of a solution uh, just to give you an example i was uh, a jury at um, uh, the vit hack last year uh, vit the college vit and um, there was there was a there was a um, a, a product wherein uh, the, the product was a, a waste disposal system what it would do is it was like a robot that will just uh you have to take him at places and it will uh, in in a particular angle range it will just figure out wherever the uh, kachra or any um, bad thing is you know just lying around on the road it'll just point you to go there it'll go there it'll pick it up and it'll just open uh, open its lid and it'll put everything inside it that was really cool <laughs> and i was mesmerized by looking at it so yeah think so, uh, what was this, what was the uh, problem in the society the problem was that people throw garbage here and there and uh, uh, just you know uh, to have a clean india this is something that they proposed divide responsibility amongst your team members and keep a check on progress self explanatory but the second part is the most important even the first part also divide dividing responsibilities the right way is very important uh so divide responsibility is the right way and then uh, uh keep a check on progress so what we used to do is uh, uh every after every 2 hours so uh, we are starting right so we uh, assigned uh, five i assigned five items to myself four to him four to him four to him something like that and then after we decided to meet after 2 hours 
after two hours we met and i was like okay i was able to complete these four items the, the last item i'm still working on and people used to share their progress i'm like okay uh okay let's assign less items for the next two hour sprint and uh, let's try to complete those complete items after the two hours and this is how you know you should uh keep checking on progress and and that's how you'll you know try to and you'll uh, completely uh, you know complete your product in time otherwise you won't there is no point in delving upon an issue for example you uh, are facing issue in something or some some library or something like that um some piece of the code and uh, you you start thinking about it you start googling it after a certain point uh, you are like mesh nahi hoga i won't be able to do it just quickly find a mentor uh, you know why hackathons have mentors this is the reason why hackathons have mentors if you find any problem and you are you you have dwelled upon uh, that issue for quite long now you can ask your mentor he or she will be able to help you so just ask him don't spend more than 20 minutes on a problem or half an hour on a problem half an hour is also too much because in a hackathon time matters bad habit of trying to stick to the game plan so as i told right i started with something i told that i will be able to finish this five points this five uh, uh, you know uh, checkpoints after two hours and i was able to finish only let's say three i should think uh, and, and let's say this continued and this lack uh, this lag continued uh, for the next uh, two or three sprints of two hours i have to think again i have i do not you know do not stick to the original plan that you had right at the beginning you ha- you can pivot at different points in time you can think of in a think it in a way like okay we are doing good but that teammate of mine he is actually a bit slow so just to accommodate him we can just you know assign hey uh, you also do back end for a while just help him out uh, i'll i'll take care of the front end stuff like that so you have to be agile you have to sometimes you have to change your product also in the middle sometimes it happens right but you don't have to worry right just just be agile in whatever you think by agile i mean um uh, your play, your game plan your uh, uh, development plan should be flexible enough so that you can change it at certain point and the bigger objective and the bigger goal does not change if there is an easy way out go for it let's say i uh, uh, i want to uh, in my problem only i want to have a good uh, speech to text uh, uh, tra- transmit translator i can uh, you know easily use uh, google speech to text api or microsoft cognitive ai services i can easily use right they have built it in such a great way why not use it why you know uh, should i write everything from scratch train a model and think about you know creating my own tool no there's no way uh, there's no point of it if there is an e- easy way out if there is a library that was already doing it just go for it break down problems into chunks and and this 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 point will be very much resonated with people who are in competitive programming who do competitive programming that break down problems into chunks cornering down the potential edge cases there is a big problem obviously we all we all start with a big problem effectively effectively break those that that particular big problem into smaller problems and um, uh yeah you know find potential edge cases that okay, okay uh, my 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 product will fail here my product will fail there you don't have to just you know you don't have to um worry about fixing them right away but you should you should know that okay these are the loopholes in my product because uh in the presentation you in the in the presentation you can uh be asked by the by the jury what are your future plans or what do you think you missed in the um uh, in your product that you wanted to do but you didn't get time so you can you know if you have thought of everything the loopholes and everything you can point that out speed is crucial if you won't finish in the hackathon it won't you won't finish it so uh, this has happened before uh, people say that uh, you know uh, i only said uh, tell the participants they yeah your idea was really great but you know you should uh, not stop at it you know you, you right uh, here you should take it forward you should work on it and you know try to finish it when i am saying that trust me i know that they won't do it if they are really you know interested and one in a 
million <laughs> then yeah they will but otherwise they don't do it why because i know if you won't finish it in the hackathon you won't finish it you just leave it we all have so many side projects that we started and you know it was left in the middle we all have right there is no shame in accepting it it's like it's it's how we are so try to finish it in the hackathon pick a boilerplate beforehand don't don't do like i want to create a i want to create a backend in django and i'll write everything from scratch no use a boilerplate always have a boilerplate um, you know well prepared before the hackathon like this is something that i already have usme kuch kuch add karna hai kuch hatana hai this is how uh, you have to add something and remove something in that particular boilerplate same goes for front end i if i want to use react uh, i can um, i can have a boilerplate for react uh, and i can just add components i don't have to worry about the side things just focus on what you want to build and not the side aspects to it you know we are not i mean if you are doing it um, you know personally in your personal project then yeah you can do it to learn stuff but for hackathons do not do that um, time matters building a team into is important the leader i told you this demo of the idea steal the show create a awesome killer presentation uh, i hope you like i hope you like my presentation um i think this i i think this this uh, comes under a good presentation but yeah always think of uh, presenting something in a way that if you were the part of the jury will you like it firstly secondly sometimes uh, uh, for most some of the hackathons it's mandatory but uh, it's really good if you have a, a proper um, cartoon or a, a cartoon video or a proper demo video of your um, product of your app or of your website it really uh, you know uh, steals the show uh, one of the things that i want to uh, you know point out here is always follow a golden circle model what is the golden circle model always start with a why have you have you have you ever seen a uh, steve jobs have you ever seen steve jobs talking about uh, or launching an iphone he always or, or any product he always talk about the why even if you see apple ads they talk about why uh, are they doing it what they are doing how will it change the world right secondly how are they planning to change the world and thirdly what is the product this is the product so ultimately the product comes at the last that's something that really resonates and that that's a principle that you know marketing people good marketing agencies follow they start with a why so always start with a why in your uh, demo some of the ideas that we had uh so speech guru was something that uh, i did uh, four or five months ago uh it is a bot which analyzes your speech and uh, tells you what was wrong with it syntactically as well as presentation video wise so this is not grammarly grammarly tells you where your grammar was wrong and where the where was the spelling wrong and everything but speech guru tells you uh syntactically uh, where you were wrong yeah this is the grammarly part but i told you right it has to be innovative you have to add your extra flavor to it so what is the extra flavor that was added extra flavor was let's say i'm uh, preparing for a speech and i am giving a speech here and i'm looking here and there and i'm you know tilting my head and stuff like that so all not uh, the right way to you know approach uh, in a speech so it will tell you that yeah you 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 shifted your head and stuff like that it will tell you where all uh, you used curse words so in the middle of my presentation i told what the hell it will point that out it will say you cannot say what the hell so it will point that word out so this is a speech guru fakelicious was an app which uh, created uh, which used to create deep fakes uh, with respect to videos uh, you can just have um, narendra modi over here and uh, kanye west over here and whatever kanye west uh, will speak or whatever i'll speak will be spoken by kanye west and narendra modi also in a very uh, good way uh, this uh, hybrid mobile app which tells you with probability of uh, different diseases you have based on symptoms with the severity score card the virtual stock market game meeting transcriber this is something that i was telling you eventually we made it in a different hackathon but yeah so yeah um i know i uh, uh raised up a bit at the last moment but that was it make your ideas come alive uh have a great hackathon and uh, i wish um i wish i could take part in the hackathon uh, myself i really want to but given the kind of job i am in right now i do not get time for it 
so yeah till the time till the time you are getting uh, time for or if you are getting an opportunity to be in hackathon do not miss it please never focus on winning guys i i this is the this is the coolest mantra that one of my uh, mentors gave me and it has been with me uh, and i have won hackathons after having this mantra in my head that do not focus on winning focus on having a great product focus on having a great innovative idea and just whatever you plan finish it in time that is it this is what uh, to plan well that that means that plan well and um, yeah that's it uh aren are you there yeah rajat awesome so man uh, this was it i think i should uh, uh, stop sharing yeah okay yeah thank you rajat it was indeed a very insightful session i hope the audience agrees with me uh, thank you for enlightening us with your knowledge it was really good to see all this information from you now we shall proceed towards the questions from our inquisitive audience so go ahead and ask your questions uh, everyone uh, we will take them one by one okay so i'm i'm getting a question uh, bro <laughs> what languages should i need to know uh, so okay if this is based on hackathon uh, i think it's based on the hackathon context so uh, there is no mm, particular set of languages that you need to know but i think that uh, one language that will really help you in creating cool product uh, products will be um, python because with python you can create really you know uh, great tools because there are great libraries in python and if you want to create a good website or a good web app obviously javascript you cannot go past javascript so yeah javascript and and i'm using javascript i'm saying javascript and not uh, going uh, not telling you java or kotlin for android because if you have javascript you can create a website that will uh, a web app that will eventually be working as a, a mobile app also so yeah javascript and python i think um uh, vignesh reddy yulaganti Uh, any qualification needed to join? No, no, no. You, you do not. I, I've, I've seen, I've seen uh, a, people uh, in tenth class, people in ninth class performing uh, or you know taking part in hackathons. So uh, there is no, no qualification needed. You just need to be able. Uh, and I have seen people who are not even developers, uh, who, who are not even coders, uh, taking part in hackathons because now there are tools that can help you uh, create models. and create a product if even if you're not a coder you just need to be aware of certain tools uh, like uh, figma you can create your app design on figma if you need if you you know uh, want to create something and uh, train a model so you have an app design a perfectly running app but your product is actually and that is the product that will be showing but the actual thing is just a model that you have trained now for model training you can use r you can use python there are different languages at the same time there are tools also so uh, yeah you don't need any qualification man how many languages should i know and try uh, i know and any tech stacks required again i'm pointing this out there is no specification uh, of uh, you know some, that, that that you know need to have for joining hackathons anything you you can you know uh, no one no one judges you in the way you use tech stack you can still use jquery you can still use php for backend and no one will judge you you just need to have a good product yeah in some hackathons they tell you that you have to use let's say if it's an alexa hackathon by create, uh, organized by amazon you have to use alexa you have to use some tools specified but most of the hackathons like hack cbs you don't have to you know worry about what tech you will be using you have to worry about what is your idea and how will you be implementing it Can you join hackathon in BTEC first? You can join hackathon. I told you right. You can join hackathon in uh, sixth grade also if you have if you want to. Is Flask good for backend or should I go for Django? Flask uh, Django will start make you uh, uh, will give you a good start. It it's easy to set up and it comes with a good boilerplate code. So Django, I, I think Django will be good for backend uh, development during hackathons. Flask is more like a micro uh, framework and you have to do a lot of code by yourself. Open source contribution versus internship, which is best for a beginner. Uh, for a beginner, 
for a beginner uh, you, you you have to tell me what kind of a beginner you are if you are in your first year i'll i definitely first year or second year i definitely definitely say open source contribution but if you are in your third year having internship at a good startup or a good company will be you know uh, i i'd suggest that um, anything else i did i miss anything something so aren can you can you see if i missed any questions uh no i think you have answered them all okay um awesome great thank you uh, thanks rajat once again it was a wonderful session and it was amazing hosting you today thank you aren for having me over here okay thank you and and great and thanks for patience yeah and great work hack cbs i mean i've been uh, on the uh, i've i've heard about or i have been here for the first time but um, having seen the crowd and uh, the website and the kind of work that you guys have been doing in the past it's awesome it's great glad to be here thank you thank you sir feel thank glad you. to have you again next year <laughs> sure sure <laughs> okay bye bye all the best guys we are having a next workshop at 6 pm today itself on the topic getting started with open source by kunal kushwaha so do set up your alarms for that workshop hope to see you all there too thank you and adios